A season defined by multiple program records, player and coaching milestones, and the love of the community for the Richmond Rainer basketball team ended one step short of its ultimate goal on Saturday. Making their fourth all-time appearance in the North Carolina High School Athletic Association 4A state championship game, the Raiders and head coach Donald Pettigrew earned the title of state runner-up. The COVID crown escaped the Raiders, who lost to Myers Park 74-60 at the Dean E. Smith Center in Chapel Hill. The Raiders have finished as the state runner-up in 1988, 1996, 97, and now 2023. In the East vs. West showdown, Pettigrew said an uncharacteristic second quarter performance was a turning point in the game. The Mustangs outscored Richmond 19-11, scoring 10 points off turnovers. Despite chipping away at the lead at different points in the game, the Raiders' usually high productive offense couldn't get into a rhythm. Junior wing Paul McNeil Jr. finished with a team-high 21 points and added 6 rebounds. He shot 6 of 16 from the field, including two three-pointers, and connected on 7 of 10 free throws. McNeil Jr. was also named the Raiders' most outstanding player following the game, and senior Dakota Chavis earned the Outstanding Sportsmanship Award. The Raider baseball team had a stranded seven runners on base, five in scoring position before junior Isaac Henshaw dug in with two on and two outs in the bottom of the seventh inning on Friday. With the Raiders trailing by a run and Ethan Clayton and James Eason representing the tying and game-winning runs, Henshaw won the lefty-on-lefty -lefty battle with relief pitcher Dylan McBurnett. On a 3-1 offering, Henshaw recorded the final of Richmond's eight hits, walking the game off with a two-RBI single to left field. Richmond earned a 3-2 win and picked up a pivotal conference win after falling to the Cavaliers earlier in the week. Giving the Raiders a chance to steal the game late was junior pitcher Cameron Seagraves. In his second start of the season, Seagraves was dominant and threw six innings of no-hit baseball. He notched his second straight double-digit strikeout performance with 10 Ks and allowed two earn-earn runs in the top of the third inning. Richmond will play three games this week, starting with a home-and-home -home series with Pinecrest. Tuesday's game will be on the road, and Friday's game will be at home, both starting at 7 p.m. While wet weather bookended the weekend, dampening motorsports activities, sunny skies on Saturday allowed both of Richmond County's legendary racetracks to kick off their 2023 seasons. Rockingham Dragway hosted the 252 March Madness No Prep Race, the first event on the fresh concrete and using the new timing system. Jamie Lee Cleef of Ford, Virginia took home the top prize in the small tire category with David Brinkley in the, the Patriot Camaro won the small tire division. Other winners were Robbie Dollar in the True Street division, Donald Smith in the Modern Street category, and Hunter Craig in Junior Dragster. But those weren't the only cars rolling at the first event of the year. Racers with the International Model Drag Racing Association tested their remote control cars on a scaled down drag strip near the front gate. Across the street, Rockham Speedway welcomed back monster trucks for the third year in a row. The two-hour show featured monster truck drivers performing jumps and a motorcycle stunt team. There were two shows on Saturday, but the Sunday show had to be canceled because of rain. According to Speedway officials, tickets will be honored at other monster trucks shows or refunded. Two Richmond County residents and two local businesses were recently honored by the Lumber River Council of Government's Workforce Development Board. William A. Ray was named the county's Adult of the Year for his resilience and tenacity after being laid off from his job during the COVID pandemic. Ari Baldwin was named the county's Youth of the Year. Crawford Law Office was named the county's Employer of the Year. And Rockham Speedway was also recognized as the region's National Dislocated Worker Grant Employer of Distinction. When we return, we've got your live at five weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. 
To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your Live at 5 weather report where it has been freezing for the past couple of days. At least it feels like it. I know it hasn't been below freezing just yet, but we have had a lot of cold weather uh, for the past couple of days. The weekend wasn't too very warm at all, and the day's been about the same as that. And uh, hey, we had a time change. We sprung forward, uh, but don't feel like the temperatures are springing very high at all right now. In fact, they've been contracting, it seems like, for this week. So it does not feel like we're in the spring weather whatsoever. Uh, today, while we have been in the 50s, it does not feel like it. It feels more like the 40s, at least to me it does. And uh, we're looking at clay skies for this evening with 6 o'clock, 55 degrees, 9 o'clock, 48, and 11, we'll be seeing 46 degrees. We have a sunset at 7.25 p.m. Finally, we're going to be having some later sunsets. And uh, hey, you know, if you wake up early in the morning, unlike me, you're going to be seeing uh, more darker times for the mornings. Uh, we'll have a wind and give us moon phase out tonight as well. Looking at the forecast for tomorrow, we are going to be expecting much of what we saw today, but even colder. We're going to be seeing below freezing temperatures throughout the Sand Hills region. Cumberland County, a high of 55, a low of 31, with Hope County at a high of 52 and a low of 32. Robinson County, a high of 59, a low of 39. Scotland County, a high of 53 and a low of 33. Up in Moore County, a high of 51 and a low of 30. With Richmond County here, seeing a high of 52 and a low of 31. Marble County, high of 53, low of 33. And across PD in Anson County, high of 53, low of 34. Good news is sunshine will be out tomorrow, so there is that. But uh, yeah, with that sunshine, it's not going to be much better. Uh, we'll be seeing that same situation on Wednesday. As we take a look at the seven day forecast, we'll be seeing a high of 56, low of 29 for a hump day. And then party class guys for Thursday with a high of 64 and a low of 30. Now, the warmer day of this forecast, uh, as the temperatures do start to kind of try to climb back up a little bit, Friday, cloudy skies, high of 69, low of 42. As we get into Saturday, a high of 67 and a low of 47 with 60% uh, chances of rain, high of 54, low of 37 for Sunday, party class skies there, and a high of 55 and a low of 29 for Monday at party class skies as well. So, yeah, bundle up, folks. We're not really ready for any warmer temperatures just yet. Again, other than really, you know, you can probably count uh, Friday probably being your best bet here uh, for any warm weather if that's what you're looking forward to. Right now, we are looking at a lot of cold temperatures ahead. So that is going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5 for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County. You can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Rich County.